well before sunrise, one of 30 city meal kitchens dotted around New York City is already at full steam. On the menu today, beef stew. Delivery driver Andrew Smith is at full steam as well. He's been doing this for nearly 20 years. And he knows 92 elders in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, are depending on it. Before the pandemic, there were an estimated 5.3 million hungry elderly in America. That number is rapidly growing. Here in New York, City Meals on Wheels will deliver hot meals to 20,000 of them today and every day. This is a hot food right here. Oh my goodness, oh, it smells so good. Yes. First stop, 93-year-old Dorina Edwarte. She lights up when she sees Andrew. Andrew is deeply involved with the people he brings a meal and a smile to. Bye-bye, Andrew. Even timing deliveries to medication schedules. You really intimately know these people. And yeah, you, 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 when you, you're doing something, you have to know the people, know what they're about, if they're feeling sick, if they're not, if they're okay. There she is. Rita DeRoche is 80 and unsteady on her feet. Without the meals, she worries she wouldn't be able to stay in her home. As for Andrew, he's so cute. Is it also nice to know that he's going to check? He's going to be here, and if you don't come down for this food, you got it. At the next stop, Andrew was alarmed when the door isn't answered. He makes a call for someone to check on her. Turns out she was fine, but checking in matters. You have a great day. Some ingenuity was needed in getting meals up to the third floor Make it up, brother. for 89-year-old Hector Ortiz, who has trouble walking. Your invention works. Your invention works. He says the food is great and Andrew is even better. I call them our hidden hungry. Since the pandemic, City Meals Executive Director Beth Shapiro says the number of hungry elderly in New York City has doubled to one in five. It's the neighbor whose door, a few doors down, you don't see open. City Meals has delivered 2.5 million meals since March. We have not missed a single delivery, a day of delivery. She attributes much of that to a legion of volunteers twice as many this year, like 17-year-old Seb Port and his mother, Ellen. It feels good to do good. The need for people like Seb not going to diminish. Older people should not be hungry. People who often cannot advocate for themselves, but who want to keep their dignity and their independence as long as they can. The people that we're feeding built this city. They built the country for us, and it is our moral obligation to make sure they are fed. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.